Although there is no shortage of AJAT articles to read, and trust me, this video won't affect the releasing of any AJAT narrated series, I realized that I've basically become an AI model filled with Katsumoto's motivational writing and wanted to try my hand at writing a video script with some of my own ideas. I wrote this a few weeks ago and I've been using this idea since then, so after I'm done reading this, I'll have an update in my thoughts. Also, these videos won't be half as well written as Katsumoto's posts, but bear with me, please. There are more than 24 hours in a day, written by Togafet in September of 2024. I've been trying out a monthly experiment on myself, keeping track of the time I spend immersing or in contact with Japanese each day. I recently bought a 3-in-1 stopwatch timer and track active immersion on the first one, passive on the middle one, and time spent reviewing or learning SRS cards in JPDB. What I found shocked me to my core and made me sad. For the first five days of September, I've averaged around three hours of immersion, and that's including passive immersion and SRSing, which is especially depressing as I specifically bought an iPod Classic 7th Gen, modded it to one terabyte, and filled it with close to a thousand Japanese audiobooks and condensed anime audio tracks. How was I feverishly slurping up the golden wisdom of AJAT, while at the same time allowing myself to score such a low amount of actual Japanese contact per day? Granted, I do work 8 plus hours a day in English meetings or coding using pseudo-English or whatever you consider programming languages, and have a wife and two children that I just can't ignore, burying my face in manga or video games all day. Well, maybe I could, but I know I'd regret that eventually. However, something had to give. If I was going to be a prophet of AJAT, I had to practice it myself. So, I set my goal to be 25 hours of Japanese immersion a day. I can hear your questions already. 25 hours? How can you spend more time than there is in a day with a language? Well, let me tell you how my way of tracking time bends reality itself, and is practically cheating and has some holes in the way it's set up, but I'll get to that. The way I'm tracking my time with Japanese was mentioned earlier, but I'll go through it again. I'm tracking time in three separate categories. Active immersion, which is anime, manga, light novels, video games, etc. Passive immersion, which is mostly listening to audiobooks or condensed anime audio on my iPod, and then time spent SRSing. You may disagree with me that SRSing is not immersing, but I'm reading and recalling Japanese, so it counts for me. Look. I need all the help I can get to try to increase these numbers, okay? Anyway, with doing this, I'm able to do two of the three things at once, increasing the time in both categories at the same time. Right before I started writing this, I was reading Dragon Ball while listening to some JLPT test prep on repeat in the background. Don't judge me, okay? On my 3-on-1 timer, I had both the active and passive immersion stopwatches going at the same time, racking up double points. So a theoretical max amount of time one could rack up in a day would be 48 hours, but a more realistic but still quite unrealistic, max would be 40 hours. 24 hours of passive immersion, including listening while you sleep, and then 16 hours of active immersion, while leaving eight hours for sleep. And here's where the inconsistencies and problems start to come out. If you're watching anime and listening to an audiobook at the same time, does that count as double? Can you even listen to two things at once with any positive effect or would it just distract? Or another one. If you were to download the audio of, say, Terrace House, and you were playing it on your iPod, and then you were also actively watching that same episode of Terrace House that just happened to be perfectly synced up to the audio that you were passively listening to, would that count as double time? I'd say yes for the first one, but no for the second one, as you can still pick up audio from your passive immersion in the background during moments of silence in the anime, movie, or show, or whatever you're watching. But in the second one, it smells too much of cheating and isn't adding anything during the silence, so you'd only be getting one track of immersion. But as you can see, there are holes in this method and it's not perfect by any means, but it's just something that I've been trying out to see if it'll make me feel better about the time I'm getting to spend with Japanese and making sure I don't take out my headphones as much as I possibly can. I can feel that some of you aren't digging this way of counting and doubting the legitimacy of counting passive immersion while reading or sleeping, but even if it's only a 1% improvement, it's worth it to me. If you find it disrupting your sleep or distracting you from what you're reading, I would just cut it out. I haven't been doing this long term at all and recently had the Katsumoto and post idea, there are more than 24 hours in a day, go through my head so I just, I had to write this out. Um, so yeah, I wrote this script a couple weeks ago and since then I've been actually doing this. Although I haven't hit the 25 hour mark yet just because I don't listen while I sleep actually, um, it has caused me to never take out my headphones during the day. Even when I'm around family or I go to my parents' house, etc., I still have one headphone in. I just took it out during this video, but usually I have it in. Um, and so that has at least incentivized me to keep Japanese audio playing 24-7 or 16-7. I tried listening while I was sleeping, but it just was not working for me. I have been seeing improvements a lot just having Japanese audio playing basically it's not quite 16 hours a day, but it's close. I usually end up with either 12 to 14 hours um, logged on my little timer. So I'd recommend doing this. 
if you find that you like numbers going up, uh, just having a timer going, even if it's on your phone. Um, speaking of which, I bought this timer because I've been using a dumb phone because I just cannot trust myself around like YouTube shorts. It's just they're too addicting, even though there's nothing good on them. Anyway, so I bought a physical timer and so I'll put a link in the description. So since this is gamified, I, I like numbers going up and I want to constantly beat my past records. I keep my headphones in even when I'm at work. Um, so during work meetings, etc. I do work from home, so this maybe this isn't possible for you. But if you work in a warehouse or something where you're able to have a headphone in, I highly recommend it. Um, and also, I'll make maybe I'll make a video about this, but having an iPod just constantly running with basically an infinite battery is the best purchase that I've made. Um, I used to try to do this on my phone, but YouTube would just autoplay into English stuff or, uh, you know, I'd have to watch something else or somebody would send me a link. So having an iPod that you can do nothing else on it besides listen to Japanese content is a godsend and makes this almost effortless. Um, I just use the Apple default headphones. You can get them for like $10 on eBay through resellers. Um, but I just, I usually have one up through my shirt. I'd, I should have put that on at the beginning of the video so that you could see, but um, I promise that I'm doing this. So let me know your thoughts in the comments and more generally about this video. Should I write more original stuff? I have at least like three or four more ideas of videos that I'd like to do, but I just want to see if that's even worth it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.